Hey everybody, Lewis here, R Shack Barbecue and other things. Well, today I'm gonna be doing up some smoked jalapeno and cheddar sausages. And I'm gonna do those up on the old uh, Pit Boss vertical smoker. And this video, I'm gonna show you all the ingredients I use, how I set up the Pit Boss and uh, make some very delicious sausage. So stick around, this is gonna be a good one. Regulators! Mount up! Okay, I got about uh, five pounds of pork here that I'm just gonna kinda trim up and cut into chunks. Uh, check, see how much fat is on it. So when we go to run it through the processor, um, it'll go through much easier. So we'll just kind of come in here. Now you do want a little bit of fat, but like that big chunk there, we don't want that. Got some silver skin on here. We'll just come in and trim it up. Fat will cause your grinder you know, to kind of gum up. So, I'll try to get rid of some of it here. Like so. Then what I'm going to do after I get this all cut up into chunks, I'm actually going to stick it in the freezer for uh, probably an hour or so uh, before I run it through the grinder and turn it into uh, beef. Or not beef. And turn it into... Uh, basically hamburger but pork burger i guess is the easiest way to say it but we'll get it all grind up here and uh, we'll get through this There's our pork chunks. We'll put these in the freezer for a little while. Then we'll come out and process it through the grinder. Okay, we have our KitchenAid uh, mixer out here. We'll take off the little uh, safety cover here. Now I've had this in the freezer since early this morning, so it's nice and cold. That'll help the meat also not stick to it too much. Let's get the safety screw back in there like so all right make sure everything is nice and tight here all right put the uh meat tray and then i have a bowl down here a plastic bin ready to catch all the dri drippings our meat has been in the freezer now for oh a little over an hour so let's go ahead and get this thing going Down there. I'm going to set it at a four and we'll see how she does. Just down in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Get all this down in here. So this is about four pounds of ground up pork meat now. Some people will uh, do another grind on it, but this will look pretty good when we mix it together. It'll be perfect. Let's go ahead and take her all apart here. And get this cleaned up.
for this recipe, I'm using the uh, LEM Backwoods Cured Sausage Seasoning Jalapeno Summer Sausage. And you've got your cure here, which was down inside the bag. This here, you want to use about a quarter teaspoon per pound. So we'll start out with that. This is a teaspoon. Something like that. Then we need two tablespoons of this per pound. Two pounds. Then you need an ounce of water per pound. So we got about 14 ounces of water here. We're just going to pour that in there. Stir this all up. Okay, here's 10 pounds of 73, what is it, 15? That doesn't sound right. Uh, 73, 15 mix hamburger. And then we have, this is 10 pounds. And then we have our five pounds of the pork that we ground up the other day, uh, ready to go. We also have our fresh jalapenos that we ground up. And then also we have our high temp cheddar cheese that I ordered uh, ready to put in with this mix. So let's get this uh, in the mixer. This is a 10 pound capacity meat mixer that I picked up. Get this uh, out of the way. So we're gonna actually do this in two ba batches. We're gonna put the uh, hamburger meat down in here. Now I'm a lefty, so I have this on the left hand side. I'll just kind of chew that up, like so. Okay. And you can go back and forth. Get it kind of mixed up in there. All right. So now I'm going to add half of the pork. We ground up. Put that in there. And you probably want to do this for at least 10 minutes. So you get a good mix. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of our freshly ground jalapenos in there, chopped jalapenos. Well, that's good. Now let's get some of this cheese down in there. So it all gets mixed together. So now we want to take our seasoning and we're just going to pour half of it in here. Like so that looks to be about half. Take a look at this, take the lid off. You can see how it's all mixed up and looking so good. Okay, that's our first tub. We'll get this uh, put out of the way and we'll grind up the rest of it. Looking good.
jalapeno with cheddar cheese. What we'll do is we're gonna set this in the freezer for about an hour while our casings soak in water and then we'll get busy stuffing. So originally the idea was to do these uh, smoked sausages, uh, hanging them on the uh, pit boss, uh, but I decided I'll just put them on the racks and uh, got the pit boss fired up. So might as well just do a uh, rack of ribs while I'm at it. So testing out some seasonings on it. Um, let you know what I think of it once they're done. But the main thing about this cook is the uh, smoked jalapenos and cheddar sausages. So let me get this rack of ribs going. So the plan is to run the smoker in between 200 and 225 for the uh, smoked sausages. And I figure they'll take about two, three hours uh, to reach 160 internal. Um, so we're gonna get these ribs going first and uh, we'll get back to stuffing those uh, sausage links. So yeah, here we go. minutes the bottom rack has been a little over an hour coming along beautifully I wonder if I can do this Ouch. one handed just poked myself to go on those. Let me pull the ribs here in a minute. Okay, here's our finished product of the jalapeno jalapeno cheddar smoked sausages. Now these are fresh off the old smoker. Let's cut into this. Let's hmm. take a bite. All right, let's take a bite of this. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. Mm. 
Wow, that is really good. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of heat there. No, but the flavor is incredible. Wow, that is so good. Ooh, yeah, I need a drink. Mm. Boy, we're gonna really enjoy this summer sausage. I guess you wouldn't call it summer sausage. I really enjoy this jalapeno and cheddar sausage that we did up. Mm. Yeah, that's real good. So, let me review what I did there. <clears throat> Once I get done chewing. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> so this is only five pounds. I have another five pounds I'm going to do up tomorrow. Um, this here, you know, uh, I did that pork butt, trimmed up the fat. Excuse me, I gotta get a drink real quick. Hmm. Trimmed up the fat, then I ground it up, and then I bought 10 pounds of uh, 73, was it 7515 um, hamburger, and uh, 10 pounds to the five pounds was the ratio, use the uh, LEM Backwoods Jalapeno, Jalapeno Cheddar uh, Sausage Mix. And it's got all the ingredients on there as far as what you're gonna mix it with. I cut up six fresh jalapenos. Of course, I deveined them and took the seeds out. And then I also had that uh, high heat temp cheddar cheese that I bought online excuse me, from app, uh, Amazon. Put those all in the uh, meat mixer and got it all mixed up really good. Then uh, used hog casings, used that Cabela's uh, stuffer, did really well, just stuffed it in there pretty good. Had a couple blowouts and uh, you just work through those and continue on. Uh, then I put them on the uh, Pit Boss smoker Vertical smoker. I had it at 225. It probably, I mean, that thing, you know, it was down to 160 and all the way up to 300. So it's it bounces around. Um, yeah, it probably took about two hours, two and a half hours uh, for what I did um, to get these up to 160. And the color, uh, everything is just beautiful. You know, you just look at that and you can just see how moist they are, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, these turned out a lot better than I thought, I hate to say that, but you know, for a first time, uh, these are really, really good. And uh, definitely will enjoy these. Uh, wasn't that hard. You can do this too. Grill on my friends, until next time. Thanks for watching. We're gonna enjoy this sausage. Now.